Hello fellow collectors and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we are taking a look at Transformers Generation Selects Deluxe Class Hubcap. So this guy is a repaint slash retool of the Bumblebee Cliff Jumper mold. I guess it was Cliff Jumper first. Uh, also going to be Bumblebee in the Netflix line. But here we have Hubcap if we go ahead and pop him open. And I think it's hilarious just how like tiny he seems in the box all by himself. Just in a giant sea of plastic. Uh, if we go ahead and take him out of there. He's basically Cliff Jumper, but painted yellow with a new head. As you can see here. The Bumblebee is kind of an extensive retool. I'm pretty sure this is just a new head. But still looks pretty cool. Uh, let's see. I'll, we have the instruction manual in the box, and that's pretty much it. So here he is outside of the packaging. Let's go ahead and get him all the way out so we can take a closer look. So here he is out of the packaging, and right away he is very, very, very bright yellow. So I apologize if it's throwing my lights off because uh, he's very bright yellow. <laughs> it's very nicely painted. Uh, there's a lot of paint on this. Pretty much all the yellow feels painted with the exception of the head and the forearms, I think, are actually molded out of yellow uh, plastic. Everything else seems painted, which is a weird choice. It gives it all a very nice uh, glossy finish. But it also just feels like there's going to be a lot of paint chipping off over the years, which is kind of a bummer, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, but yeah, it's basically just Cliff Jumper painted yellow with a new head sculpt. The head sculpt is good. Um, it's a little weird for an Autobot to have red eyes, but he does have a nice bright orange face, and the head sculpt is good. And it definitely reminds me of the original Hubcap toy, so very cool there. He is featuring his giant gun, which is comically large. Uh, it is made up of several different pieces. You can actually take this all apart. Uh, the stand here is when it's that... Uh, they always go back to that uh, more than meets the eye episode. Let me put this back on here. Uh, the giant sniper rifle that he had. And this was kind of like the tripod for it. So that's what that's imitating. But you can actually take all these pieces off. And if you want him to use two smaller guns, you can do that. He can just hold these as kind of pistols which I think is a pretty cool look. So he does have kind of two smaller pistol option there, which I think is pretty cool. But for now, we will put all of this off to the side. Come back to that a little bit later. Uh, articulation wise, head can move side to side. It is on a ball joint, so you get a little up and down as well. You have a swivel here in the shoulder as well as a hinge. You have a bicep swivel, you have an elbow joint, which actually I guess is 180 in the elbow. Uh, and then you have the wrist swivel, you have a waist swivel, you have hips that can go all the way front and back out to the side. He also has a thigh swivel. You have pretty much 90 degrees there in the knee, and then you have, of course, ankle tilt. Quite a bit of ankle tilt. <laughs> uh, so he's got good articulation. You have the backpack, which can move around a little bit, or you can just take it off. I kind of like the look of it better without it, uh, but he can use it as a shield if you want. You can put this in his hand, and then he's got a little shield as well, which is pretty cool. So you have a lot of options with all the different weapons and accessories, which I think is pretty cool. I'm going to fold that peg in there, because that's going to come into play in the transformation in a moment. Uh, but like I was saying, you can really tell, like, this is definitely painted, this is painted... Uh, even down here, you can see the sheen that this is all painted. And it's nice because it's a very cohesive yellow coloring. Um, but like I said, I'm just worried it's going to wear over time. I already feel like it's starting to. I wonder if it's all black paint with yellow over top of it, which seems like a weird choice. But maybe it's yellow uh, molded plastic with yellow paint on top just so that they could have a consistent color scheme. Because a lot of times when you have uh, molded yellow you'll see like a Bumblebee toy where the roof's one color, the front of the car is another color, and they're all different shades of yellow, and that can kind of be a bummer. So they're really just trying to do one shade of yellow all the way around for consistency. I'm totally in favor of that. But yeah, he looks good. I like him. Real quick, here is Cliff Jumper. Just so you can see, it really is the exact same toy. Just painted yellow with a different head. But that's not necessarily a bad thing. I like this mold. I'm going to buy it again as Bumblebee, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to buy it again as Bug Bite. So we're going to have a few of these by the time we're done. But uh, yeah, he's a cool little dude. So let's go ahead. Let's get into the transformation. 
All right, so the very first thing you're going to do, you're going to open up the chest here, pull that down, flip up this piece, cover the face, close that back up. You're going to take the arms, spin them around 180 degrees, and then like so. Although I guess technically you don't have to since they do bend. I guess technically you don't have to spin them. Because they do bend both ways, you could just leave it like that. You're going to come down to the waist and spin that 180 degrees, like so. You're going to flip the arms down. You're going to bring this waist in like so. You're going to bring these around. You're going to flip open these little panels that we're covering the back wheels here. You're going to fold this around, kind of bring the leg around, fold this up like so. Then you're going to want to bring, as you bring these around, there's super tiny little tab spots. There's a tab slot right there, and there's a tab right there. So you're going to want to bring this in and tab that in and tab that one in and just kind of sit them next to each other like so. Then you're going to bring this up and kind of just click all the panels and everything in place. Peg the front of the car together. You can flip up these wheels like so. And then you're just going to kind of shore everything up and make sure that these all peg together. Sometimes they can be a little annoying. There we go. So get that all pegged together, nice and solid. Then you're gonna bring this piece back and these two pegs right here are just gonna drop into the two fists like so. So just drop that in and then this will click into place up top and it is kind of a bummer that he's a bit of a parts former or like a shell former in the way that you have this whole piece on the back that just lifts off and becomes a shield been uh, seeing this quite a bit with earthrise molds um, it looks like the new iron hide slash ratchet mold is going to do the exact same thing I'm not really sure how I feel about it I mean if it really makes the toy look good I don't mind it so much, especially if there's somewhere to store it, like on the back like this guy has. Um, but I'm not a huge fan of it, especially in um, terms of Ironhide, but we'll get there when that video happens. But here is the vehicle mode for Hubcap. Alright, so here is the vehicle mode. And again, I apologize, my lights are off, but he's even more bright yellow in this mode, if that's possible. Uh, but it's a nice, consistent yellow. Like I said, I really feel like that's the reason why they painted everything, to match. Because you can see, it is a consistent yellow across the board. No panels are different colors. Nothing's just a tad of a shade off or anything like that. It's really, really nice and sharp. I really love the look. The Autobot symbol there, very, very clean, very nice. Uh, rolls very well so I worry that the paint will chip in the future but for now I'm just loving how sharp and uniform this guy looks very very cool now if we bring his accessories back in uh, you have a couple of options here you can take the guns and put them all back together in the big long configuration again instead of putting these on the front you want to peg these kind of on the sides like this and then you can just go ahead and peg this on top. And it looks a little goofy and out of place, but if you just want to store the giant gun on top, you do have the option. So you could rotate this down, I guess, if you want, but it would hit the windshield. You could rotate it up. You can rotate it on either side. It doesn't matter. But the coolest configuration with the weapons and accessories, if we take everything apart. And this is my favorite. These are actually little skis. I can't remember what episode it was. I think it was Atlantis Arise, where they a couple of the Autobots 
got these little skis under their tires and they just surfed on top of the water out to Atlantis, which is absolutely ridiculous, but I love it. So you have these little skis, you take this piece, you open it up like so. Um, this is going to peg under here and then these two little uh, tabs or you know peg holes are going to peg in these really thin pegs. So this is going to drop in here and then this is going to peg on here like so. So you can kind of see already how you have the skis ready to go but you can take these and there's actually tiny little tab slots on the actual handle right there where my thumb is. And that's going to tab into these two tabs right here. So you tab this one on here. It's a little difficult to do because it's so tiny and precise, but you can get it on there. And then there you go. Now he's got uh, boosters and he can jet ski. I mean, it's absolutely ridiculous, but I love it. I love it in its ridiculousness. <laughs> and it's just so perfect. He's just got little skis and little boosters and he's ready to hydroplane. Becomes a little hovercraft, so... Um, I love it. I, like I said, it's absolutely ridiculous, but I think it's hilarious and I love it and I just think it's fun. So I'm going to go ahead and take all of these off. Oops, be careful. I don't want to, these are a little thin. I wonder about if they're breakable. I guess time will tell on that, but either way, absolutely love the vehicle mode. Very sharp yellow. Love the accessories. Love the jet ski mode. Ton of fun. So I think hubcaps a ton of fun. I know some people might have a problem with how small this guy is. And yes, he's a little dinky for a deluxe figure. But I feel like they tried to make up for it by giving him a ton of accessories. And I think the accessories are a ton of fun. I like the kind of dual pistol mode. I like the giant bazooka mode. I like the fact that you can use the accessories to give him that jet ski mode and vehicle mode. It's just a ton of fun. I just think it's a lot of fun. And it's kind of just fun to see hubcap again. I mean, he hasn't really gotten any love in quite some time. So to see him get an updated figure... Again, just a lot of fun. So I definitely recommend picking this guy up. Uh, I would check Hasbro Pulse if you can't find him there. I would check Big Bad Toy Store. I would check Entertainment Earth. Probably your best bets for finding this guy at this point. But yeah, I say uh, if you had fun with Cliff Jumper, you're going to have just as much fun with Hubcap. And I definitely recommend picking him up. Uh, if I had to really nitpick something, like I said, I think them painting the whole thing in yellow is beautiful. It makes it look very sharp, have a nice glossy finish. And it all matches as far as the shade of yellow. But I'm afraid over time that it's going to chip. And that could make it you know, look terrible. We'll, only time will tell. So hopefully it holds up. Um, you know, Some people complain about the whole shell formeriness. If that's a word I just made up. Uh, you know, But for this guy I don't think it's that much of a problem. But we're starting to notice a lot of these releases having this kind of shield quote unquote piece. That you either peg into the back or he just holds as a shield and it just kind of helps the vehicle mode out. I don't mind it to a point. Hopefully it doesn't get too out of hand. But I think for the cliff jumper hubcap mold slash bumblebee slash bug bite mold, uh, it, it's okay. I don't think it's that big of a problem. I think it can work. It you know can store on the back or you can leave it off, use it as a shield. It gives you some playability options there. Uh, display options as well and it doesn't really get in the way of his waist movement and that's what I think is key so I think it totally works I like the mold a lot and hubcap is a ton of fun so let me know what you guys think in the comments below please like share and subscribe hope you guys enjoyed the video and as always thanks so much for watching